So I wanted to find a way to take these TEDx videos that play in Flash. So if we pull up Safari, um, these these videos actually play um, in Flash even when the user agent string is set to iPad. Okay, so they're doing something else to detect the page. Normally, if we want to get the HTML5 source, we just tell our browser that we're an iPad and then we can get the source. Not in this case. So what we're going to do is go get Firebug Lite. So we install Firebug Lite into our browser, okay, and we make it a bookmark, a bookmarklet actually up here, okay. Um, I'm not sure how you would do this if you didn't have um, Safari and Mobile Me. That's kind of a key here. So I have Mobile Me, so when I have a bookmark in Safari, it's automatically synced to my iPad. So we've got the TEDx website pulled up on iPad, and you can see this video looks different now. It's because it's an HTML5 version of the video. So if I click my URL bar, I get my bookmarks that are the same ones that are in Safari. So I can drop this down, and I can actually go to the bottom of the list here, and there's Firebug. And I can actually click Firebug, and it will actually launch Firebug Lite on iPad and here we go so this is actually really cool it, it gives you really good freedom to inspect the page as an iPad really sees it any detection will let this be true iPad so we can actually click HTML here and now we can actually click body and let's actually zoom in a little bit we can drop the body down and now we can actually inspect the page again what we're looking for at this point is the source of this video so we'll go ahead and go to um, this div container here and then we'll go to uh, body and then we'll go to main content and you can see we've got an issue coming up here left column uh, we the, it, we've actually it's run into the page so if we look here the code has actually uh, run into the page and we can't read any more of it well this is a problem obviously with rendering this on iPad but Firebug's got a solution for us if we actually come over here um, you can see that there's a pop-out icon that if you're familiar with Firebug we can actually click this and lo and behold and this is amazing it actually opens in its own window and you can actually still open the HTML tab and now we've got the full HTML source like on the page as it was loaded it, this is really cool so what we can do now is uh, go into here and we're just going to open this div that says video player right here we'll just open that div left column video player swift and let's see let's see what's in the script tag ah init video player and oh look at that there's some actual code alright so here's another issue we've got we've got the code that we want but it's over off the screen I take two fingers and scroll to the left and oh I can scroll over that's a beautiful thing and so I can actually go through here and I can keep going over and if I keep going over and keep going over and just keep going there's our video there's our HTML5 video tag right there which means that our source can't be far away video tag closes which means ah there's our source right there of our HTML5 video for this video so using this we can grab this and now we've got our source and again this is just uh, you can get this in other ways if you watch my last video but this is just really cool showing you that you can actually use Firebug to inspect the page on iPad